welcome back. Um, today we're going to be working on a 36 by 36 canvas. I'll show you this real quick. That is also 91.4 centimeters by 91.4 centimeters if you like that better. To find how much paint we need for this size, we multiply 36 by 36. We end up with 1296. We divide by 28. I'm not sure why it's 28. That's the formula I was taught. I learned in the file sections of several different groups. It, that number doesn't change. It's always 28. doesn't matter what size the canvas is. Divide by 28. So if we divide 1296 by 28, we end up with 46.28 ounces of paint needed to cover this canvas. So to get 42, 40, I'm sorry, 46.28, 47, I'm going to be using my two cup beaker. That's two cups, 16 ounces. So 16, 32, 48 ounces. We need 46.7, 48 is good. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna lay down a black base coat first and then I'm gonna tell you about my colors real quick. So So there's our canvas has been coated with a black base coat. That's Artist's Loft Black Flow Acrylic and a little bit of pouring medium and some Floetrol. So hopefully it won't get too windy. I do have kind of a lot of paint on there, but that's just fine. So let's go ahead and start layering our cup. There we go. Okay, so we're looking for three of these. All right, so I want a lot of turquoise in this. So that's gonna be the color that I use the most. I do want a tiny bit of black in the center. And then we're just gonna layer. So this is my Golden's Turquoise. This one is Golden's Green Gold. This one is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Silver. And then we're going to put a layer of the black again. And then I'm going to put some gold in there. Well, you know what? No, I'm going to put a layer of the green gold first. And then I'm going to put the gold. And then we're going to go back to our turquoise. Put some more turquoise. I have another cup of this too, by the way. So we're going to use the green gold again. And the silver. So originally I had like seven other colors <laughs> mixed up to put in here also. And then I did a couple of little test pieces and I realized all the other colors we're doing was muddying it all up. So to that end, I chose to go with simpler palette and I did a test piece and I loved it. So I'm just going to do a ring pour because I really like how these colors play together and all the stuff that happens between them. So let this get this going and then I'm probably going to fill up the cup one or two more times at least. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm just going to do, let's put a little bit of gold and a puddle in the center. Okay, and here we go. I'm not so worried about how this looks because I'm going to pour another cup right into the middle on top of that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cup ready real fast. And... Okay, I'm putting the black in there because I want it to kind of go with this one. I'm also going to turn my canvas because as you can see it started to travel and wander a little bit. And I'd really like to keep that in the center for as long as possible. Go back down. Okay. That's really cool. So hopefully it's going to look like that. And now since this time I'm pouring it from this direction, hopefully we're going to get a bigger black section over here. All right. So here we go. Okay. 
that's pretty. I like that. All right, let's see. I have a little bit more paint. But let's see how we do with that before we pour any more. Because we might be okay with this. And I don't mind having a little bit of negative space. So, okay. It's funny, this is not one of, that green gold is not one of my favorite colors. But it works really well with that turquoise, which is why I keep using it. So, let's get this out of the way too. All right. Just move this around just a touch. Let's see where the weight of the paint is. How it's moving. I might want to put some more in the middle to get a little bit more of the gold happening in there. I think I am going to do that. So I'm just going to take the cup I've been using and put a little bit of turquoise in and some of the gold in and then a little bit more of the turquoise on top. And I'm just going to go right in the middle. So if that happens, don't freak out. Just take your little, fix it. Okay, that's a lot of paint. All right, let's move this around just a little bit. Actually, you know what I do wanna do? I wanna thin out the rest of the gold. There's a little tiny bit of gold in there. I'm just gonna thin it out just a touch and pour it around the outside of the flow extender. That way, if it rolls over, it'll give us those nice little cute tiny gold cells. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the corners, too. Actually, you know, instead of going around the pore, let's go just a thin line around the border, the perimeter. Here we go. Maybe I shouldn't have put that gold on the edge. Ugh. 
It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot, actually. So that's kind of awesome. A little bit more paint over here on the corner. That's cool. Let's torch it. Let's see how beautiful it looks. Okay, I like it. I think that's really cool. And that's that one. That's very cool. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore because I don't wanna screw it up. So knowing when to stop is a really, really big important thing. Because I could play with this. I could go, oh, what if I brought this back and stretch that out? And that's all very tempting, but what's the cost? Do you know, I really love how it looks now. I think it's really cool. And if I mess with it and I start playing with it, yeah, I might be able to manipulate it, but is it gonna get better than this or is it gonna just change and maybe not so much for the better? So think about that, you know? Because if you stop and just sort of wait and see what happens, you'd probably be pleasantly surprised. I am tempted to just sort of bring it back this way just a touch to open this side up just a little bit more. And that's the only thing I'm gonna do. But see, now we've stretched the paint already so thin and so far all the way across the canvas that it's not really moving. And the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to start to get these like little peaks. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. So that's pretty cool. I like this one a lot. I'm happy with how it looks. And uh, I'll take some pictures and then I will show you when it's dry. So that was pretty neat. I thought that was a lot of fun. So it's funny how the preparation for all of this takes so much longer than the actual pouring and tilting itself. <laughs> I like this a lot though. This is really cool. I love this section. This up just a touch. Over here, this is gorgeous with that. Let's see, what was it? So it was the turquoise and the black that gave us that navy color. That's pretty cool. See, I get really jazzed about when I figure out which two colors together did what. And I'm glad that the gold stayed gold from the separate from the turquoise. I'm glad that that didn't blend up too, too much. A feather just landed in my painting. It's interesting. <laughs> Itty bitty teeny tiny feather. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, and I'm covered in paint again. Alright, I'm going to go take a bath. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, so this is the dried piece. I love how this one turned out. This is so cool in here. This beautiful separation of the colors. 
nice and stretched out so you can see in between. No gold there. And you see that black background? So this one turned out really, really neat. I'm very happy with it. I definitely want to varnish this one because I think it'll bring back a lot of that sparkle and pop that it had when it was wet. It was a very cool piece though. Very happy with how this one turned out. I like the center a lot where you see the black behind all that turquoise. And that turquoise got really kind of green because of the gold. Very pretty though. So that one is a 36 by 36. It reminds me of a tunnel. Very cool. I'll show the other ones. Okay, so I've actually flipped it over and the wind is about to take it. <laughs> but I wanted to show you a couple of parts that are really, really cool. Up here, this corner is just really gorgeous. It's so shiny, it's hard to see it there. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.